and guys welcome back to show go back to another video in today's video we are here with ssr army i mean i pretty much have to call them army i don't call them performance i don't call them auto body because they're so big i absolutely love them so much we're finally here it's been a long 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 drive but yeah the mission is as you guys can see we brought the car here not only for a crank hub but we also want to get something done on the hood so we have the gts hood as you guys can probably see, actually I, I didn't even throw in the content yet i didn't even throw in the install portion yet so let me go ahead and throw in the, the install part right here hood on the empty the fitment is almost i think it's even better than the original hood like i'm not gonna lie i had a fitment issue over here and now it looks absolutely perfect so i mean you guys can probably see from pictures in the past some of you guys were questioning like, hey what's going on with the hood gap i mean i didn't know what was going on at first but this looks so much better now obviously obvious this paint is super hard to match i know ssr they actually link up with insurances they do amazing work they work on lamborghinis audis a bunch of nice cars and i mean audis I mean like audi r rates you know like all the supercar stuff mclarens all the good stuff so i figured if they can paint match those they can definitely paint match this we brought the car here i'm gonna go ahead and go inside talk to shaw hopefully everything is good to go we're also gonna be doing the crank hub in the next couple of days and we're also doing one more special modification this week as well so yeah a lot of good stuff we're doing here let's go ahead and go inside uh, and see what's going on i mean guys just look at the type of cars that come here oh my lord like there you go just right there <laughs> a couple wrecked cars this is their auto body portion which actually the last time i came here not the time with the m5 but the time before that they were just opening this up now they're fully operational they're working on insurance cars stuff like that they have their performance shop right here i think that's super sick that they're one next to the other guys i just love seeing so many bmws next to each other I got my man right here, Sean. What's SSR. up, guys? So, uh, yeah, bro, what are we getting done here exactly? So, today, we're going to be doing something special, man. I'm actually really excited. As soon as you got this car, I immediately messaged you. I was like, dude, that color <laughs> is insane. <laughs> and today, we get to paint this GTS-style hood in that Atlantis blue. Yeah, it's bro. Look sexy when we're done with it. Like, insane, insane. So, I'm excited. Uh, what we're going to do right now is we're going to pull it to the back. We're going to talk to my master painter. We're going to get this thing paint match to the T. So it looks like it belongs in the car from factory. And uh, yeah, we're gonna ripping that hood off, painting it, and throwing it back on there. So something that you guys don't know, I was actually just gonna literally just bring the hood, but uh, they actually wanted to actually check, you guys check the paint and stuff like that? How does yeah, that work? Yeah. Because I don't know if you guys see, but if you just get your hood painted, give someone the color code and everything, they paint it, but if your other panels have like sun fade or something, it's gonna end up looking different. 100%. So uh, yeah, so you guys are pretty much actually gonna be doing a bunch of test coats to make sure this thing lines up like the Correct. paint. Correct. So for me, uh, what, what, for, for what I like to do, how I like to do it, we'll pretty much match the VIN to the paint, okay? Yeah. And then after that, we use a color eye camera, which is literally a brand new system that we just got this year, 2021. I can probably say with confidence that we're probably one of the only shops in Orange County that had this system. <laughs> That's what I'm talking California, about. California, one of a handful of them. Um, so we use this, it's like a $7,000 color eye camera, which goes on the actual paint on this car, right? So regardless of whether this paint is original or not, because it, it's possible this car's been painted before, we don't know. Um, obviously, my master, my master painter can look at it and tell you right away if it's been painted or not. But we'll take that color eye camera, match it to the fender, and then apply that same exact paint to the hood, okay? Before we paint the hood though, what we do is we take some color cards and we put them right up next to your fender to make sure that there's no difference between the fender Bro, and the that's color what card. I'm talking and about. And then we paint the hood. Yeah, so it's not like a, oh, just enter it into the system real quick and then boom, we're spraying the hood. Yeah. We don't do any of that, right? We do a real match. And even after the color eye camera does its, does its magic, like I said, a $7,000, just the camera itself, the system itself is over $100,000, but the color eye camera, that's a $7,000 camera, matches it, but then my master painter who's been painting for 20 years will go in and say, nope, it's a little off, we need to add this toner, we need to add 
this kind of metallic, we need to be a little bit more coarse, a little bit more fine in the metallic, and then another final card is painted. We put it up next to the car. Once he's satisfied with the color match, which is based on our standards here at SSR Auto Body, we go ahead and paint the hood. So it's a process, man. It's a process. It's a process. Well, I just love how passionate you are about this. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know my car is in good hands. That's why every time, bro. Guys, I drive out five, six and a half hours. I book a hotel for a week. I book a car rental for a week. We literally got right over there. It's a first set, but it is what it is. <laughs> it but I mean, it is worth it coming down here because you guys can just see how passionate. I love my guy right here. They're just so passionate about their work they get done here. And uh, yeah, we're, we're not here just for a hood. We're doing yeah. actually a couple things, yeah. which, you know, one thing is kind of a secret, which is the last thing we're doing, but the crank hub, you guys already know, yeah. SSR. I'm super excited for it. Yeah. But yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and meet the paint guy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go to the let's back. Let's go ahead and get, get into the car it. Back. Cool. So this is Enrique. He's our master painter here. Uh, he's going to take a look at the paint and, like I said, go through the entire process of color matching it and making it look as perfect as possible. Sheesh! <laughs> so we use Sickens paint, which is essentially like the, the Rolls Royce of paints, honestly. PPG is very common. Uh, there's uh, there's um, Blaster, there's a few different brands. Brands, we use the best of the best here. So it's a little bit more expensive than material, but honestly, when it comes to quality, what I am not willing to do is be worried about not spending an extra $18 on like a front bumper and not having it come out looking right. Yeah. So we, our, our paint is the only paint that's approved by Lamborghini and McLaren both, and we can match any BMW color without an absolute issue at all. So it's, it's, it's the best of the best. Again, why I brought my car here. So Enrique's gonna explain real quick how the process works. So this is the process, it's called uh, from Actual Novel, it's called Activision. So what you do, you, you input the information of the car, and then you just take two pictures, and based on the color code, it will give you the closest one uh, formula that I have for this, what I call it. And then you just mix it, uh, do a revision code, and then it, 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 this will uh, fix, if it needs fixed, this will make, give you another different color formula. That. And then so. this is pretty much like the newest of the newest of the newest technology that you can get. So that's why we use it because it really gets you a really close color. But the best technology is right here. The yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It takes a lot of talent for this kind of it's stuff. Talent. It's honestly yeah, yeah. just talent, and skill, and experience. Because as close as this gets, maybe to someone like you who, who doesn't have that much experience when it comes to the paint and yeah, the yeah. Work, you might look at it and be like, wow, that's, that's perfect, right? Whereas <laughs> yeah. I look at it, especially him, right? I don't yeah. have as close experience as he does. 20 years of experience painting, he looks at it and says, oh, you know what? No, this is a little bit off. I'm going to fix it. And that's where you get that extra SSR touch, honestly. That's where, what I'm talking about. Our standard is beyond the standard of what other shops just use to just color match. busy right now. <laughs> uh, see we got the water, water bottle every I think last time you came by it wasn't done. Bro, yeah, this was yeah. the one you, bro, that's yeah. all this on your Instagram. This, this is, really is insane, bro. Whole YouTube video on this whole thing, man. Guys, this isn't black. This is all carbon. Yeah. Every single panel on the car is carbon. Every single panel. Wow. Oh so my god. Right now we're doing a lot of work in here, so we, we detail her every week or so. Whoa. Dude, I never thought red on rims actually looks so good. It looks really good. <laughs> oh, it really man. Really the car apart. Oh, it looks man. really nice. This is a Porsche uh, Carrera. It's a base. Uh, the customer wanted an aftermarket GT3 style bumper. Okay. It was a mission and a half, man. Those aftermarket bumpers are Yeah, the, the fitments are terrible, yeah, bro. Terrible. 
We're gonna fix a bunch of dents. This is the man right here? The man right here. <laughs> yeah. So Louis pretty much pulled out this entire quarter panel to make it flat. It's about ready for paint. Should be going to paint today. So this is a brand new G-Wagon. Uh, we're doing the side rails in black. Uh, we're doing the exhaust tips in black. All the badges are going black, so we're doing a full blackout. The clutches are going black, and then this front crash bar is actually gonna go the color of the car. So this is like the design of matte black from the factory. We're gonna match it exactly to- Hold matte. on, this is paint? Yeah, this is paint. You can match yeah. matte paint. 100%. And Bro. we're also very few people that can actually do that. Yeah, no, I don't know anyone that can do that. I've had customers go to Mercedes back to back to back. I had a, GL, a GLC 63. Yeah. The guy was moving to Qatar. And he's like, Bro, I just want to paint the whole car because they can't match my bumper <laughs> to the car. I said, Bro, that's like a $20,000 job. He's like, I'll pay for it. I said, No, no, no. Let me actually show you that we can paint just the bumper and I'm only going to charge you three grand. Okay, convert to 20. He was willing to already pay the 20. What? And he's, the... Like, he's like, No, no, no. I just want to paint the whole car. No one's going to be able to get it right. I was like, let me show you. He ended up coming back. He looked at it. He couldn't believe it. He's like, did you paint the whole car? I was like, no. We painted only the bumper and a couple other blends to make it match the rest of the car. And he was like, I, he was so ecstatic, bro. He literally paid us some money. They said three instead of 20. Yeah, yeah. And he paid us three grand and got the car and shipped it back to Qatar, bro. He was so happy. <laughs> Hold on, hold on. So you repainted this? We didn't repaint this one. Oh, not this one, but no, something similar. GL GLC okay. It was a matte design of uh, graphite gray, whatever it is. Okay. Like You've seen it probably. Yeah, yeah, no, I definitely see it. Yeah. Gray. Uh, but we got a uh, design of matte black as well. It was a GL, uh, it was a G63, G Wagon, uh, for one of my other buddies, Aaron. Uh, but essentially, we had this paint coat already, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go and match it to this bar, and it'll look like it's part of the car. Oh, yeah. That's what's up. Yeah. No one really knows why it's so hard to paint the matte colors. Do you know why it's so hard or not? No, I have no idea. I'll tell you exactly why, right? So, when you paint a car, you paint the, the base, which is in black, right? Yeah. The metallic and everything, and then you put clear coat over it. The reason why matte is so hard, two reasons. One, you have to make sure the finish is exactly the same, so it can't be more gloss, or it can't be more matte than what the car looks like, right? Yeah. It'll immediately, your eye will immediately catch you. You don't have to even be, like, really professional when it comes to looking at the paint, right? Secondly, you cannot buff a clear, uh, sorry, a matte clear. You cannot buff it. So what that means is so if it gets scratched, one, right? One speck of dust in it, when oh. you're painting it, game over. You gotta re, you gotta oh, re it, re man. it. With a regular clear coat, you can actually go back in there. If you have 20 pieces of dust and a couple fish eyes, you heard of fish eyes? Yeah, yeah. You could go in, go in there and actually polish them out with matte. You can't do that. So it's one hit, one shot, and one, you have one shot or, or it's over. So that's why it's so hard to paint this part. So on this G-Wagon, another thing that we're doing is we're actually repairing this hit right here on both sides. We're gonna repair it and repaint it. You'll never be able to tell the car got touched, never. That's what's up. Ready? What's up? Uh, oh my just, lord. Just stick your camera in there, bro. Snapped tie rod, completely bent back steering rack. Look, Hold look, up, look I need to get a flashlight in there. Yeah, yeah, let's get a light in there. So tie rod completely snapped. Steering rack bent back. You can see it snapped off the knuckle right there. Right there. <laughs> That's crazy. And then you have a control arm that literally looks like a piece of spaghetti now. It legit bent all the way back. And then the the strut where that control arm connected completely ripped off the knuckle as well. And the knuckle itself is completely bent out of shape. So if this car was on the ground, you would see literally this wheel would be inside the fender. So um, yeah, it, it was bad. Well, it was bad. Be doing on the channel. So. Yeah, 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 exactly. That's bad, bro. Exactly. That's bad. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Guys, look at those. Car that totally costs great. more than my car. <laughs> yeah. See, look, we got to replace those. Check this out. And I think that caliper alone, I want to say, is like a like a fifteen thousand. Yeah. Caliper. One and caliper. Then, yeah, bro. and then this is seven grand for the or for eight the grand for, for the, the rotor. rotor. Yeah. Carbon. Is it like carbon, carbon? ceramic? Yeah. Oh my yeah. god, so, guys. <laughs> This is a 2019 Porsche Turbo S. Porsche Turbo S. That's Porsche, what's up. Uh, Carrera Turbo S. So this one ended up hitting something. There's something happened to hitting it on the freeway, and it chipped and destroyed this cooler right here. So it's leaking all over. Rip. And I had to get it towed off the side of the freeway, pretty much. So. Yeah. Rip. But this one will be a quick, quick little one. The bumper is messed up. We're gonna repair the bumper, paint it. Fun stuff. Cool, cool. Uh, we got a five series. Five series up for alignment, a couple other things. So whenever we have cars that come in that aren't driving straight and stuff, what we're able to do is we're able to put it on our alignment rack since we have it in house. Replace the control arms, replace the tie rods, whatever we think that might be messed up, and it's pretty much having to stay on the alignment rack while we do all that and keep adjusting and making sure the car drives straight. Is this new? Uh, the alignment rack is new. <laughs> yeah, you didn't have that last yeah, time, dude. Bro, that's what's up. And of course, last but not least. 
our tire and wheel department. So we got our uh, touchless tire mounting machine. You've probably never seen a machine like this. It's very rare. Not to see that it. like sophisticated. With all the arms. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You do not have to touch the wheel. Nothing ever touches the wheel, other than the back side where you rest it. Nothing touches the wheel on this car, on, the, on this machine. So oh, machine, that is perfect for expensive wheels. Yeah, That's the way yeah, to go, exactly. bro. So normally you have someone crying to get the tire on. Yeah, yeah. This machine does everything for you. It's, it's, it's 100 times stronger than any human ever will be. So it's able to stretch the tire and do things that you normally wouldn't be able to do just with like normal human strength. And then <laughs> over here, of course, we got the road force balancing machine. So this machine right here will actually put this roller on the tire and it'll give you a reading not only to make sure that the wheel and tire are balanced, but also to make sure that when you put force on the tire, it's not it's not giving Changing you a little bit shape. of hop. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so you can see right here, it kind of gives you the tire as like a spring, right? And it'll tell you if any part of the tire is giving you too much hop. And you can see this shows 12 pounds of road force. Yeah. Anything about 15 is considered like in the yellow area. And then anything about 20 is considered like you're actually gonna feel a vibration when you're driving. This machine, you'll almost never see it at like a normal tire shop. You gotta go to like the higher end tire shop, yeah. like American Tire Depot. They're starting to bring these things in because they're having so many issues with faulty tires because you can't measure a faulty tire on a regular balancing machine. It's impossible, you just can't do it. That's crazy. Yeah. So this is the machine, we have the top of the line 100 machines when it comes to tires, wheels, and of course alignment as well. All right guys, leave it my baby. It's gonna be in good hands. Guys, at this point, we're gonna be putting on the hood onto the M3. I'm super excited for this, mainly because this isn't the original hood. They didn't just take off the hood to get it painted um, or you know anything like that. This is the GTS hood. They took off the hood, uh, again, not actually for the crank up job. They took it off because they got a new GTS hood and they're gonna be painting that, matching it, and putting it on the car. So apparently it's painted, it's matched. So we're just putting it on the car. So I'm super excited to see how it looks and hopefully everything's gonna be looking beautiful. officially at the house. The next video, because we're still getting some other work done, is at SSR, but the intros are filmed at SSR and the outro is gonna be filmed here at the house because basically want to film an outro once you actually got the car home. And uh, yes, the car is home. And I just want to say, guys, uh, they absolutely killed it. They absolutely killed it. So this is the hood, guys. Actually, I don't know if you guys saw, but my hood gap was worse with the original hood, and this hood looks so much better. This hood I actually got it from Keys Motorsports. This is their GTS hood, and as you guys can see from the paint, it is literally, I'm putting it on this light because you guys can tell all the imperfections. It is literally 100% identical. Like you cannot tell there's any difference or if this was ever repainted, which is super nice. And just to put it out there, guys, they didn't actually you know, sand down my bumper, sand down my fender, and blend it at all. All they did was paint the hood and slapped it on the car and that's how good the color match is obviously these fenders may not be the original color um, nor this front bumper for the long term over long term a lot of things can happen to the color that can change it ever so slightly so if they just literally go off the color code it's gonna come off a little off because this is fresh and that's not so fresh but yeah guys in person and on camera this thing looks literally perfect I am so 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 happy with it it doesn't have any flaws in the paint whatsoever um, in terms of dings this uh, hood I think I accidentally dented it right there. That was before they painted it. That was my fault, but uh, yeah, they did make me aware of that. They said we could repair it, but considering how the hood is very, like, it, you could push it in really easily, I don't want them to repair it, and then all of a sudden it cracks and it chips the paint, and that's just gonna be a nightmare in itself. So I could live with that little dent, it's not a big deal, but oh my God, guys, this hood looks so good, and this paint, it's just it's just a whole nother level, especially in person. Like, the camera really can't justify this paint. And just an FYI, before I actually pop the hood, I wanna show you 
show you guys something else with the hood as well. The whole drive back, so the crank hubs are replaced, everything was replaced, there's not a single leak absolutely anywhere, there was no codes, no nothing like that, and the, and the temperatures and everything were perfect. So even though they pretty much tore down everything and replaced everything, no issues whatsoever. They were really, really, really good at what they do. And again, that's why for me, I could commit driving the six hours there, rent a car, book a couple nights, and drive the car back for a big repair like this. You really don't want just anyone working on your car, and especially when it comes to paint stuff, because uh, this kind of paint, they have the machines. I'm not saying, um, the guy I normally go to, he does good work, but um, he, he only has so much resources. SSR has these machines and these other um, things to where it, it's it's like they can nail paint 100%. And that's literally what it shows right here, guys. Like this paint, he literally touched the panels and uh, with their camera and their machine and they were able to like, I, I, get, I don't really know exactly what they're using. I showed you guys a little bit in the beginning of the video, but they were able to 100% match it, which is just, you guys, the best feeling on this car. This car is actually gonna stay in the garage until I actually uh, get some clear bra on it. So the main priority is to get this hood clear broad. As for this bumper, we're gonna be taking it out of the track. It's already beat up. It's actually really beat up, to be honest. I don't know if you guys can see it, but this bumper is washed, but it's got so much like, if you guys can see all that, so many little imperfections. I actually got some cracks down here as if this portion was a little bit repaired. Um, actually, I showed you guys that earlier when we put on the lift because the fitment is not that great. I think this has actually been rebonded, this portion of the bumper. I think it's been damaged. But yeah, basically, I think I'm gonna end up getting a new bumper, keeping this bumper like I kept the hood, and just repainting uh, a new bumper and then clear brawing the front bumper. But for now, we're hitting up some track days. It's gonna get destroyed. It's gonna get beat up. So I might as well just rock this for now. But I don't wanna ruin this hood. So we're getting this clear brought pretty soon. So I'm waiting on my boy Junior. I don't know if you guys know, but my boy Junior recently got into an accident and I'm just hoping he recovers and I'm giving him his time off of work and I, you know, all power to you, bro. We're all praying for you. I hope you recovered. Everything is gravy in the Navy in the end. But yeah, guys, it was a really bad accident. So yeah, again, I hope everything goes good. But in the meantime, as we're waiting, hopefully everything's gonna be okay. We're gonna be hopefully getting this uh, hood clear broad. I did want to show you guys something else. So as you guys can see, they completely surprised me with the inside of the hood. I didn't know they're gonna actually repaint the inside. And it's not only is it just painted, but it's actually like gloss. It's really, really nice. Like God knows how much work they put into the inside of the hood too, with all these crevices. I don't even know how hard that would be, but oh my God, they did absolutely amazing. Now this is like show car worthy because every track car is show car and this just looks so awesome. I love it. Again, I definitely think this job was well done. Now the hood is lining up better than ever. The paint is better than ever. The hood looks better than ever. It's a GTS hood, so I'm super excited. This car is really coming together. But yeah, guys, if you guys like this hood, make sure you check out Keys and Watersports down below. Honestly, guys, the fitment is absolutely amazing, especially for an aftermarket hood. It looks like the authentic GTS hood. And yes, I've had this hood on the M4. I've had this hood on the 435. I just absolutely love this hood. I will continue to get this hood on any, any F chassis I end up, ever end up getting because I love this hood. See, so yeah, again, Keys and Watersports down down below make sure to use my code nor5 and as for ssr performance guys anything you get done with ssr performance make sure to mention my name they do offer a discount for those of you guys who come from my channel so make sure to mention it to them but yeah guys without further ado if you guys are excited for the next video which is going to be some cool sound stuff some exhaust modification done by ssr make sure to smash the like button but without further ado guys i love y'all so much remember to stay humble i'll see you guys in the next one peace out yeah yeah let's go I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse. Man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words, and I put them all together in cert, cause I wanna have worth.